they drank it all without me. All right, so this is a duel with my master. This will be tougher. Now we actually have to take out another tiny rather than just random creatures. Uh, your goal is to destroy the enemy tiny. And if you take too long, apocalypse now. Let's go. This is probably where we use the seal, right? I think maybe we start the first round. Hey, Bookworm Blue. I know Bog is going for Yoda, but all I'm hearing is Kermit. That's fair. It's the Muppet Show with our very special guest, Kenny Rogers. Yay! That's close. It's pretty close. Um, It is Frank Oz. Frank Oz didn't do Kermit. Frank Oz does a lot of the Muppets and Yoda. So, no. similar. <laughs> How you doing, by the way? Welcome. Um, I don't think I should do the seal the first turn. I think what I probably want to do is grab more ink. I don't actually, actually scratch that. I'm not going to be able to reach this one. So I'm going to start with the seal. I can only... Yeah, let's do it. Best sound effect ever. I wonder if I should move her forward or not. I'm gonna move her forward. No, that's gonna be in the water. Don't move her forward. No moving. Alright. <laughs> I like how the hands are different too, depending on which tiny you have. Hey, Grez, what's up? How you doing? Oh man, their army is much bigger. And he he drew a pot of beans. Now there is a push mechanic in this game. Okay? You can push creatures and they move a spot. And if there's no spot for them to move, they will fall off the edge and die. So if I was able to suddenly somehow get a creature like right here, right here, and then push Master, he would fall off the edge here and I'd win. So you have to always watch for that. Um, I want them to go first and get closer to my seal. So I'm gonna actually use This is actually dangerous to do if they somehow get over here and able to push me, but I don't think they can get through the gate. So I'm going to put something behind me. Uh, and we'll do a sword guy too. Boom, boom, boom. And do I want to put water anywhere? I'll put water. No, I think I'm okay. I'll save it. Let's see. Hopefully, one of them gets down close enough. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna move my seal. I have no choice. I have to go now with the seal. Water impalement. Wow, the seal does a lot of damage. One shot. Oh, these do these demons explode when they die? Is that what they do? Uh oh. I didn't know that. We're gonna need a bigger boat. See what happens. Random objects appear. Oh yeah, deals five damage to units positioned near exp Oh god, I didn't know that. Okay. Well 
That is not ideal. And we do have to get them up there. Oh dear, indeed. I do have to get up there. I can't just... I, I have to actually kill the master here. Somehow. Who can I shoot? Are they immune to explosions? Bloated beasts explode when killed. The size of the explosion depends on whether it was bloated once or twice. Being a double bloated beast will cause it to explode immediately. Okay, large explosion deals damage to units five fields away. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um. I wonder if I put water on the... I think the small pot of beans would go away if I put a water field on it. Water destroys fire sparks, bonfires, and pots of beans. So if I get rid of this... That might open us up to some options here. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the water's gone. He's sleeping. I don't like that these guys can literally just die right on my hero. And kill her like that. I might be in trouble. I might be in a little trouble. Now that I think of it. I can bring my seal up there. What else can the seal do? Create water? If I hit this, it'll probably kill me when it dies. But it will kill me when it dies. I only have four health. <laughs> we went for total mayhem. <laughs> Just summon something else right away. Are you out of ink yet? Jesus Christmas. How many guys do you get to summon? You brought him into the water. I can move somebody. I can move my own guy out of the way. Still, what happens when this guy goes? He's just gonna... He's gonna blow everything up. Let me attack him first. Okay, we did five. Okay, and now should I move? Should I push him away? 
Get out of here. And then move this guy back? One action has been taken. This unit can't be changed. That action has a cooldown. Okay, but I can't move this guy. I was trying to get him out of the way. What if I do the punch? Probably worth it. Killed my fish, you bastard! Alright, and uh summon an archer? Or a sword guy. The sword guys have eleven health, the archers only have nine. I guess we'll summon a sword. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Let's see what happens. He's got to run out of ink. Probably should have gotten an archer because these things explode. They could just throw things too? They could do everything. They're not fair. Look, he's just gonna. Look, we killed each other. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to get through these. <laughs> they just all blow up on my face. And they throw beans. That's so lame. Don't throw beans at me. At least we can move pretty darn far, which is awesome. I kind of don't want to kill this guy. But I guess too light, too bad. He's going to die and blow me up. And he keeps oh. summoning more. And he's getting more ink. Um, I can't even do anything. I can move my guy over there. He won't get damaged? Yeah, that's true. No? Oh, it's too far. Out of range? What's the range on this move ability? Two? Uh, okay. So, we are nowhere near being able to do that. Um, I'm low on ink. I am. I can't do anything. At least we'll pick up this ink here. We'll get three more. I can't punch. Great water. I can only go here. I really can't do anything. Let's see what happens. Hey, at least he hurt his friend. Do, 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 do. He's got six again. Ah, uh, he has a. That was a, that actually was a good, a nice placed wheelbarrow. Now the question is, do I want to run in, try to push this pot of beans behind the master, and then get somebody else up here eventually, and push him off? Might be the only way to win, I don't know. Mm. 
I think I'll start with her. I'm gonna move her forward. It's small water, so she shouldn't get hurt. I will create... Let me create an archer here. Maybe I should have done a spear. Should have done a spear. Somebody remember spear for next time. And... We'll create water. Can I walk through the pot of beans? I think so, because it's small. So now I would push the beans and the beans would go off. I had some way to get rid of these beans. I wonder if I don't even do anything. No, he'd probably just ping me. Next turn anyway. At this point, I think what I need to do is move forward here and then destroy the beans, and at least it'll hurt the master. Can you stand on the beans and push? No. Nope. If I stand here, I can push the beans, and the beans would go off the map, but it wouldn't affect the master. I think really the best thing I can do is this. It's not great. Or I can put water maybe on them? Oh, imagine if I could do this and still move and still push. Let's do this. He's coming back for me. You killed my fish. You will pay for that. I don't have enough to buy another thing, do I? What if I ran up there? Can I run all the way up there? Bet if there was water, I could. Run, run, run. move forward and shoot this guy Ooh, we got it nice that was a good turn and he hits me with a bean man the archer fishes do not have a lot of health I do not have enough. I guess we gotta move her forward? Woo. That's all I can do. Uh oh, he's bloating. Means it's gonna be a bigger explosion, right? Up to five squares? All right, I've got nine. <laughs> Apocalyptic fire. Okay, this is like the enrage timer. See, he's got a much more precarious situation than I do. 
we can somehow push him in there, we win. And I can get all the way to right there, unfortunately. He just comes right down there and sits there, right in front of me. Oh, that's terrible. So what is a headache? Beasts with a headache can either, uh, with a headache can either move or take an action, not bolt. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I can make a spear, dude. Water punch. There's no water there. Works only on targets standing in big water. What do I do here? I think we're I think we're okay because he's so close to that fire. I think the fire is gonna grow. He didn't move his guy yet, at least. He's gotta move at least a step forward. Um Try this. Put a spear guy down. And then move the spear guy. Out of the way. Maybe. And then put the explodey guy in the water. Oh, I already moved. Okay. Damn it. You can only do one of these movement things a turn. All right, fine. Isn't he dead if he doesn't move? Oh, no, he's going to move far. No? What? Okay. Oh, okay. So, it, okay. It wasn't dangerous. He's got to move this turn. I get it. Let me go first. Ooh, I can go first. I think I go up here. Push this guy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, look what he's doing. No. Actually, it was not. That wasn't actually dumb. That was pretty good, actually. I don't think I can push him now. Oh, wait. No, that was dumb. Now, that was dumb. I think that gives me the opening to win right here. Yep. Yep. AI messed up there. We did it! That was close. I didn't know I didn't know what to do on that one. That was tough with the exploding guys. That's pretty cool though. Very neat. Okay, we get healed back to full now. Look at the boredom levels on all my gut all my guys. My goodness. Prestige, 80 gold, we get beasts? Right, hold on, okay, 80 gold, beasts, what do we get? A hook-wielding devil. Pretty good range for a devil. They can hit up to two fields away or one level away as well, okay? They cause bleeding, can summon fire sparks, immune to fire sparks and hell's maws. Okay, or well, we could do the pitchfork-wielding creature.
Or the bow wielding dog. Hey, hey, MZ, what's going on? How you doing? I think we're. Let's go with the dog. Get a new hand action. Draw a cauldron. Strike. Strikes three targets adjacent to each other for five damage. And it doesn't require the water. Select a bloated beast or a pot of beans and make it explode. If the target is an allied beast, you receive five drops of ink. I don't have bloated creatures, though. Let's do strike. And a new talent. Allied beasts that are standing in water receive one level of halo at the end of the chapter. Allied beasts with halos that are standing in water will be healed. When a friendly beast dies, the tiny Elinkalani regains a health. Explosions deal one damage to your beasts and tiny. When a cooer stands near a tiny, that's for the pigeon boss. Each halo increases the beast's damage and accuracy by one. We'll also remove heresy. I guess we get blessing water. Your victory is like wine from death's private farm. Perfect. And speaking of drinks, it's time to party. All right. Act two. Is that where we are? Yeah, we're in act two. Nice. All right. I think we have time for like one more battle before we have to wrap up. Um, I like this fish faction though. It's pretty cool. I like the water mechanic. It seems pretty, pretty powerful. You want to go against bunnies or dogs? Increased difficulty and better rewards because it's an elite. All right, let's try that. We'll do a harder. Oh, no, we have to start here. Hold on. The master was about to die thanks to death's carelessness. Why didn't you stop it? Because I was drunk. Because I was too full. Because I was too focused on training. Because of vanity. Um, let's, let's decrease the boredom. <laughs> My master's dead. Hey! Killed my master. Oh man, we start in the middle. And I'm surrounded. Oh, they have a donkey bard and everything. Oh boy. Um. Uh. I wonder if I should get a seal in here. Let's do two swords. Two swordfish. Move this over. Let's move this one over. Then they can't get in the ink. And I think I have one more square to summon things then, right? Yeah. Ruff. Ruff. I can't give anybody a headache, right? No. All right. Start with that. <laughs> I got blessing water. Chapter two. I'm doing well, MZ. We're just checking out the um, an upcoming update for Inkalunati coming out soon with a new brand new faction. Um. All right, so they shot my damsel. Oh wait, is this gonna kill me? Oh no, does this explode? No. And the donkey bard. The donkey bard has a, a fart mechanic, I think, too, right? 
Farting the pipe affects all enemies except tinies up to three fields away, giving them a really, really bad headache. Yeah, we don't want that. So, why don't we use our swordfish to push him off the ledge? Goodbye. <laughs> if you thought ring outs in Soul Calibur was frustrating. Ooh, hit both my guys. How dare! Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Try another dog. And are you in range? For me to like punch anybody? Water punch? How about the regular strike? This guy? It hurt my guy too. It's alright. I don't think we need to do it. Oh yeah, the dogs can't be in the water. I forgot. They're not water dogs. They're not sea dogs. Do not be stabbing me. We're down to 20 life. At least these things don't explode. If I go down there, he can just push me off. Actually, I can push him off. Goodbye. <laughs> The idea of a fish with a sword in his mouth pushing a dog off a cliff is the type of antics you can get up to in this game. There we go. Success! That wasn't fair! Uh, life isn't fair. In ink and war. Okay. Wow. My swordfishes are really expensive now. The boredom. We got a new beast. A bonacon can attack two fields away, can create fire sparks and spread infection. They also have fire in the hole, farts, prayer. The pigeon can coo. Let's choose this big guy. I don't know what he does. Let's check out a shop. Show me what you got. Ooh, a Cerberus. What is this? Triangle wielding skeleton? Pretty strong and resilient for a skeleton. The triangle can only attack adjacent fields, can cause dance macabre. Able to spread infection on adjacent fields, it affects everyone it passes. Three hundred for the dragon. Dragon cost 20 ink to summon. Screw it! I bought a dragon! And there's nothing you can do about it. Change my army. What is the thing that's really expensive right now? The swordfish, right? So let's put something more expensive. How do I, uh... The dragon. The seal. We probably don't need the seal and the dragon, right? Spearfish. Archerfish. Archer dogs. This weird ram thing. And a dragon. Try that. Oh, this is a big map. Big map! Let's just start with a 20 point dragon. And everybody claps. 
and I don't like where my character is, so let's move forward. Actually, I just moved off the ink because I'm a jibip. Hmm? Ink jibip. So now I only get three ink. That's what a jibip would do. Who's that knocking on the door? Right, what does my dragon even do? Are you immune to fire? Am I immune to fire? Immune to fire sparks and infection. That's that's apocalyptic fire though. I don't think I'm immune to that. What else can you do? Attacks an adjacent field causing infection. Attacks up to three targets up to four fields away. Creates fire sparks. Okay, that's triple fireballs. Can change levels without using ladders. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's go up here. Oh, we can't do anything. Because I flew up there. I thought I could still do something. I'm an idiot. Go ahead, break that gate down, and then the dragon will be unleashed. I'm move over here and pick up some ink. Oof. You guys made me ink. I said that joke already today, though, so I feel bad now. Don't tell me you. Okay. I was like, you can't hit my damsel all the way from there. Exploding fireball. Awe the dragon and push. No valid targets in range. Alright, let's use the damsel then and make a bowfish. And oh that bowfish bows! I don't think I can hit anybody on top. Draw big waters. No. Nope. We'll end turn. Hopefully they destroy this gate. Destroy the gate. No, wrong gate. Now they're gonna make my dragon go before anybody else is ready. I'm gonna open the gate. And I'm gonna breathe fire. Maw the dragon attacks a single adjacent field. Exploding fireball attacks up to three targets up to six fields away, dealing heavy damage. Let's do it. Oh, that was awesome. That was great. Why are you standing in the fire? Okay. Apocalyptic fire! It started. Oh shit. That's gonna be a problem. That's a big problem. Small infections. Let's just eat this guy. Chomp. I like having the dragon. You're standing in the fire, dude. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to take pot shots on the damsel before I die. Look 
Goodbye. Dragon's pretty cool. Yeah, it's expensive with a 20 inks. But very powerful, as you can see. Yeah, I don't think we need to draw anything else. No, I can't do anything else. Let's just... I don't think I should draw an extra character. There we go. The fire just kills him directly. Yeah, the dragon's a very powerful minion. <laughs> they all chuckled. All right. There we go. Well, I think that gives everybody a good taste of uh, what the fish faction is like. Let's take this. There we go. Let's go to the menu. Yeah, let me just take a look real quick. So this new update, if you're just tuning in, adds the damsel as a new tiny with uh, some new talents and abilities. All water-themed stuff, right? To go with the brand new fish and seal faction. Taking advantage of water fields, which can counter the, the fires and the bonfires and the pots of beans. Drowns enemies that stand in the big water. Um, it's got a new powerful unit called the seal, which can attack in front of it and behind it. Legendary water beast. I like it. And the whole faction is very swift moving because wherever there's water, they can traverse it much, much quicker. It's really cool. This is coming into Inclinati uh, next week sometime. Um, and if you're watching this on Steam, it's probably already out. So check it out. Support the devs. They're going out of early access into the 1.0 release soon. So uh, make sure you take a look at it um, if you enjoyed uh, the stream segment. And I want to thank Yaza Games and the Dalek Entertainment for sponsoring this segment uh, for me today. And once again, my name is Bog Otter. You can find me at Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bog Otter. Hit that follow button if you like my content. Come on over there. And uh, I hope everybody has a great day. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the stream today. Take, take care. Bye.